Hi there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to plot on multiple Windows machines for Chia. So one of the fastest ways you can increase your plotting capacity or speed is by using multiple machines. So this will allow you to scale much faster, get more plots done, and basically uh, start earning some Chia uh, a little bit faster. So let's jump into it. So we open up our Chia application Update to the latest version if you haven't done so already. It will help with uh, the future progress. So assuming that you've already got one machine set up that is plotting and farming Chia, you want to duplicate that onto a second, third machine uh, so you can continue plotting across all of these separate machines. So what you want to have is kind of one machine as a primary uh, plotter or farmer, and then every other machine is really just going to be a plotter. Later on, you can move those plots back to the farm or you can run them all individually. So what you want to do is open up Chia and then you want to import from your seed word phrase that you would already have used to create your original wallet. So you select that and here you're going to enter your seed phrase, click next, and then you want to confirm it. Once that's done, you'll end up with a select key and you'll be able to select the key with public fingerprint like as shown here. So this 215541, basically on the secondary machine, you want to make sure that that number matches up with your first machine. So therefore you now have two duplicate wallets and you're ready to continue uh, plotting, almost. So one other thing that you need to do is you want to change the configuration of Chia um, so that there's no conflicts with the farm inside of things. So in order to do that, you need to uh, edit the config. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So we're going to disable uh, UPMP on the secondary, third, uh, farmers, etc. So you just want a primary farmer that has its default configuration, but on your secondary uh, plotter, you kind of want it to change the setting. So to find the configuration file, um, I'll just open this up a little bit bigger so you can see exactly where it is. So it's your local disk drive. Sorry, my mouse is going extra slow. I think the battery's running out. So it's your local disk drive, and then it's, so it's C, users, your username, then application data. You might need to unhide that app data folder. Then local, Chia blockchain, app. Uh, this will be the version number. So uh, make sure you select the correct version number there. Resources, app, SR, and then daemon. Then you want to select the chia.exe. Sorry, my mouse is going incredibly slow across the map. And then you want to open up a command window. So you can use the shortcut, which is the Windows key and R. And then you can just type CMD and click OK. That will open up you a new command window, which looks like this. From there, if you just drag across the chia.exe, it will basically do the full uh, file uh, destination and it's a little bit easier to do the next part. So from this uh, Chia Windows uh, tips and tricks, this is the command that you need to use. So you need to find the, the folder directory that we've already done and then you want to add this line afterwards. So we're just going to copy that and then we're just going to paste it onto the end of our text and then we can just paste that and hit enter and it should just say UPMP disabled restart any child services so now you just want to close Chia and then restart it okay so now you're ready to start plotting on this secondary machine it is also capable of farming as well, but like I say, with that current setup that we've just done, it means that there won't be a conflict with your other farmers on the network. So you want to select your wallet, make sure it's the same as the one on your primary machine. And then from here, you can access your wallet and also you can start your plotting as you would uh, normally see, so you add your plot, you sort your configuration, your location for your temporary file and your final destination file. Create your plot and it will continue uh, plotting as normal. Now, what you can do is you can either 
Once the plots are written in their final location, you can either copy those plots across, or should I, uh, should I say, move those plots across to your farming machine, or you can farm on the on the secondary machine as well. It's, it's really up to you. But I think for most people, you're just going to use the secondary or third machines purely just for plotting, and then move it all over to your main farmer at a later date. So once your plots are uh, written, you just want to make sure. Uh, let me just open up this. Uh, I've just got a photo here, just so you can sort of see what the plots look like once they've been written. So once the plots are written uh, within Shear, you'll see that they have this unique sort of key. So the first series of numbers is a unique key for the plot, but the second series is your kind of like uh, a reference to your wallet. So just make sure that all of these secondary parts here, just make sure they match up um, across all of your machines and make sure that you haven't accidentally created plots for a new wallet or something like that. So yeah, these should all match up. Okay guys, so that's uh, pretty much the basics of uh, plotting on your secondary or third machines using the Chia Windows uh, GUI. Um, hopefully you found it some use. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.